bitches. Oh this my is God. Oh My God. I'm Andrea Allen. I'm Lizzie Cassidy. And this is Respectfully. Respectfully. How's it going, baby girl? Oh, we're hanging in there. You know, <laughs> you like know. always. <laughs> Just hanging and banging. Just drinking seltzer and hoping for the best. Yeah, that's all we can do. Yeah. Just um, trying our best. <laughs> Just putting my one foot in front of the other. Yeah. We uh, realized last night that there's nothing funnier to me than adults trying their best. Oh, adults. And failing. Yes. Adults being like, I'm putting it all on the line. Yeah. And, and then not succeeding. <laughs> that really that really gets me. It's really good. Because it's so sad. It is so sad. <laughs> Do you think that sadness is like, <laughs> this is sick. Sadness is like a pornographic to us now. Because as we age, it's the only thing that remains consistent. I think it's just so ridiculous how much of it there is. Yes. <laughs> that it's hilarious. It's everywhere. Yeah. Take. Oh, I just spilled on my back again. <laughs> spilled what on your back? Nothing. Yeah, what, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Nothing. There's a leak in the studio. Mm-hmm. <laughs> By the way, shout out to our beautiful producer, Miss Mike Coscarelli. Hi, Mike. She's serving Fuck looks. <laughs> <laughs> She's gorgeous. She's beauty. She's grace. She's Miss United States. She's Miss France. If you talk about me like that, though, people are going to think that I'm like actually. Uh... <laughs> no, they aren't. You don't think I so? promise they aren't. All right. Mike, no one's ever going to think. very, very hetero. Oh, right, right, right. No one's ever yeah. going to think that you're a he, they, Mike. Don't worry about it. They might it. think you're a gay man, yes. but they're not going to think you're a woman. Yeah. You're never in danger of that. And what's wrong with being gay, Mike? There's nothing wrong with being gay. Mm-hmm. But when Thank you're, you. When you're trying to, you know, impress slay the puss. chicks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when you don't want to. If anyone out there is wondering, Mike is trying to slay puss. So <laughs> yeah. Can we have a hotline? <laughs> <laughs> Mike is very lonely. Yeah. And he keeps flying sure women am. out to hang out with him for the weekend. Can we yeah. get some I don't domestic? Keep flying women mm. out. I, I have flown women out. There's a big difference. <laughs> It feels like it's bordering on keep. <laughs> yeah. Let's get a hotline going on. Uh, uh, 646-753-SAD. <laughs> 917 fuck Mike. <laughs> um, speaking of sad, we're going to do... Of trying. <laughs> yeah, of trying and failing. Um, we're going to do a little DM rundown. So do you get wild DMs? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I actually have one, too. What's the, what's the breakdown? Because... When you're a woman on social media, there's like a different few different types of DMs you can get. Mm-hmm. There's like I hate you, there's um I want to fuck you, and then there's like person who's off their fucking gourd who thinks that spiritually you're connected. Yeah. There's but, also I hate you and I'm going to fuck you. Yes. That's and the worst I would one. think I hate you and I'm going to kill you. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hate yeah. kill, that's a classic. Right. Yeah. Um, but, and then there's just there's regular I'm going to I want to fuck you. But then there's also the like You're so beautiful, thank you. Ah, uh, the pay yeah. pig. Yeah. Yeah. The like hello goddess. Oh, hello <laughs> goddess is so yeah. funny. I have a theory that thin women don't get called goddess. No, they don't. Absolutely. They don't. Oh, you're so right. <laughs> they you're really so don't. It's right. Like only bitches with birthing hips that get called <laughs> goddess. Dude, you couldn't be more right. You have to look like, yeah, you have to look like you could be pregnant tomorrow. Yes. You have to look like you wear long skirts. You have to look exceptionally fertile. <laughs> Like, I look like I have milk in my tits. Yeah, you do. And you're a goddess for that. And maybe I do. Yeah, it's like, hello, goddess is also like, <laughs> they think that you're like glowing. They also think that like, you're like a pig who's never been called pretty. <laughs> yes. So they think if they call you goddess, you'll be like, hi. What? Oh my God. But it's like, no, I've been, I've been called pretty before. <laughs> hello, goddess hurts. Yeah. Hello Goddess hurts the way that like some guy who doesn't want to say that you're attractive says that you're cute. And then it's like, yeah. what's she look like? And they go, She's cute. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. When yeah, it yeah. goes up at the end. Or like have you ever like dated a guy who would call you like cute or sexy, but would never call you pretty or beautiful? Yes. <sighs> Most guys. And they think we're like not noticing. Yeah. I know. Just I don't need you to think it. Lie. I just need you to lie. Say it. You, you look gorgeous. I mean? You look gorgeous. Oh, you're so pretty. But gorgeous is actually kind of in the category gorgeous of goddess. Feels like goddess. Yeah. I wasn't gonna say anything, but gorgeous does feel <laughs> like know. goddess. Goddess yeah. is like gorgeous. Goddess is like 
you put on a really you tried really hard your yeah. hair is blown out yeah you're like kind of busted but you're oh, doing your best i hate it yeah. i hate it when you go on a date with someone he's like i really like your makeup and you're like thanks <laughs> cool you're like i contoured away my double chin and now you're sort just of tell me i look pretty just say pretty don't be like wow look who tried <laughs> You're doing your best. I also have an insane DM, by the way, that I just remembered that I want to share with you. Okay. Okay. So this is, this is my, this is probably my favorite style of DM. Yeah. Because it's just crazy. Yeah. Yes. There's an implication of, you know, I want to fuck you, but it's so wild. Okay. This comes from Scotty Sco Sales. Yeah. Just dox him. You know what? <laughs> So I also love a lot of people who send you crazy DMs are like in a pyramid scheme in some way. Yeah. You know? Yeah, their um, lives are bad. Their lives are bad. They're selling essential oils. Yeah. Something. So Scotty Sco Sales says, hey, I'm Scotty. I'm a comedy dork, and I think I'm nice. real cool and not ugly. Oh, no, Scotty. Oh, Don't Scotty. say that. Yes. No. I feel kind of bad that you said his name now. No. Don't ever feel bad for people sending paragraphs of insanity to your His friend. His life is bad. Th that's and that's on him. <laughs> and that's on him. And not ugly. Oh my god. Also, no reason do I have to act out as overcompensation for a secret maybe hiding in my pants that I overanalyze and cry about while I squeeze my okay. pectoral muscles. I no longer feel bad for him. <laughs> Scotty, get fucked. <laughs> and wonder where the muscle is well handfuls of man titty meets my lips so i can attempt to motorboat myself without strain and okay, i was this okay, is kind of poetic I know. It's, it's a actually, bit poetic it's kind of like a chuck Palahniuk novel um okay um, a chuck who novel chuck Palahniuk of uh i Fight think Club. that's how you say that well don't embarrass me in front of All everybody right, keep going. um well, handfuls of man titty meets my <laughs> lips so I can attempt to motorboat myself without strain. And I was not surprised that still no strain for my heavily padded pecs. I'm not trying to get political here. This well, is my political. favorite part of this. I was worried he wouldn't get political. And he's <laughs> and now he's getting political. But I cannot overstate the facts here. One, if a man wants to enjoy the support that panties provides... <laughs> And now I'm back on Scott's side. <laughs> that shouldn't get poo pooed on. It shouldn't. I, I agree. On even if they avoid unisex pairs and specifically prefer that they are meant for women, but hopefully can provide slightly larger, stretchy, gripping front to give some lonely flesh a lot of needed hugs. <laughs> now, is he saying. <laughs> Sorry. Is he saying, like... He's I, saying his dick doesn't get touched, so he wears women's panties. That is what he's saying. Yeah, there isn't, like, symbolism here. Yeah. <laughs> That's, I just want clarification. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, and by the way, uh, stretchy gripping front to give lonely flesh a lot of needed... This is actually kind of beautiful and poetic. Um, I don't know if I'd call it beautiful. In, like, a schizophrenic way. It's um, pretty deranged. Now... This guy's gonna fucking panty raid you, dude. Yeah, he is. Now... Uh, Why now, don't you just send him your panties for money? That's a good point. Make sure you don't put your actual address as the return address. <laughs> yeah, get a PO box. <laughs> get a PO box. Get a PO box. To be right. Listen, everyone a always panty something a panty open box. Everyone thinks that selling panties is like a way to be a millionaire. It's so much admin work. I know, but I'm saying if someone like this, if yeah. you just want to do it once, I'm not saying get into the panty selling game. I'm saying send Scotty your panties. What do you think money? I could get from Scotty? I also think Scotty doesn't have money. That's what I was just going to say. I think Scotty lives lives in a halfway house, <laughs> yeah. if I'm being honest. Okay. Yeah. Um, uncomfortable. <laughs> okay, now I'm me. I'm soaking wet. It's the... <laughs> It's the effortless manly ways. <laughs> no way for me. Uncomfortable, floppy, ugly boxers and no tight squeezes that are delightful for the rear end. I've heard anyways. Take care. Thanks for letting me know, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> what I, I always question, what is it in me? Do you want to really know? Yes, I do. You all, your whole deal is saying every secret you've ever had into a microphone. Yeah, that's so true. So then these Looney Tunes think they can do it to you. They think I'm talking directly to them. Yeah. Scotty. 
You I, probably made a joke about a guy wearing women's panties. Yes. And Scotty was like, she sees me. I Have you ever been with someone who wears women's panties? No, but I it, can I be completely honest yes. here? I would love to. Would you? Yeah. But not if they like what? took it that serious. Like not if they took it seriously, but if they thought it was like funny. You surprise me every day. If they were like into me joking around about it, I would really like it. Mike, would you wear women's panties? No, I would not wear women's panties. <laughs> All right. Heteronormative. Fine. Fuck. I think it'd be like cute. <laughs> wow. Okay, what if like somebody I was dating put on my panties, I would think it was cute. Wow. Why? I don't what know. What about it would be cute? I don't know. I think it's like I think it's like cute to like <laughs> share panties. I don't know. I think it's like when what style of I'm panty are we thinking, talking? Okay, I'm thinking about like cute little like lacy pink panties. Okay. And I think like a like masculine person's butt would look cute in them. Okay. It, are you turning And I also think that like a soft dick would be cute in them. Wow. But it's not sexual. It's not turning me on. It's not sexual. It's like okay. making me laugh and endearing me to them. That I understand. I'm like finding it charming. I understand that. I, I, I actually would not like it in a sexual situation. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so you'd like it in a non-sexual situation, <laughs> which yeah. makes even less no sense. No wonder acting like you don't hang out with people in their underwear when you're not having sex. Like you've had sex that day, but now yeah. you're just hanging out in your underwear. Yes. Like if, if you're fucking someone and they get up to go to their the bathroom and they put on your underwear, that's like cute. I do see that that's cute. Um, mm. Mike, if a girl put on your boxers to go to the bathroom, you're going to like that? Um, I don't know that I would think much about it. I don't know that I would like like it, though. Yeah. I think that maybe like the robe. When I when a girl wears my robe, I guess it's kind of like. I like that, I guess, kind yeah. of, but it's a little different. A robe is like something you just like drape over to the back of your. I think the panties would be adorable. Oh, that's beautiful. I, I've never had anyone do it before. Me neither, but Me I'm neither. picturing it and I think it'd be adorable. Well, OK. And I think that it's so hard not to have homophobia in this conversation because yeah. like and so it's like a very like fraught with that. It's hard to separate your feelings out because I think it's hard to separate your feelings out. Again, I'm into it. <laughs> I'm, I'm not, no, I'm not. Right. I'm That's having a really the anti-homophobia. I'm like, it's hard. You're, for, like, you're like, Lizzie, it's really hard for you to not be homophobic right now. And I'm like, I like it. Put my panties on. I'm saying the general. I'm saying in general, like when Mike is talking about a woman putting on boxers, I think culturally we're all like, that's so cute. She's putting on like a man's baggy thing. I do Everyone except the man in the room. Yeah. Well, yeah. I do that. I put on I put on people's boxers after I fuck too, them. They're always too tight on me. Well, yeah. I they're too do tight on you. Yes, have you seen my ass? Oh my I have a fucking dump truck, Mike. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. The person I'm fucking now... I oh I hate, I don't want to tell you this but I have to yeah I was like going to the bathroom in their apartment and like they don't live alone so I had to like get dressed you yeah. know and I only had jeans <laughs> and I didn't want to get like cum on my jeans mm -hmm. so I was like can I borrow like a pair of your boxers and they had to be like I don't <laughs> I don't think we have the same dimensions. <laughs> <laughs> Dimensions, which is like the nicest way you can I, say that. <laughs> and I had to be, I had to you, be like, you have goddess I had dimensions. To be like, I was just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put on my, I put on my boyfriend's shorts once to see skin tight, yeah, busting open. Oh my god, I put on a pair of basketball shorts the other day that were just <laughs> hugging my, they're like legs, just like hugging my ass and coochie. <laughs> Okay. And they're like supposed to be like the baggiest thing, and you're just like <laughs> a sausage. Yeah. Well, they're supposed to be like God, that the, makes me want to kill the myself. Boyfriend fit. Yeah. And it's just the tightest <laughs> thing you've ever worn. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. One time I was like hooking up with somebody who's like petite, mm -hmm. like a petite man, mm -hmm. and he went to go to the bodega, and he accidentally put my jeans on mm -hmm. instead of his jeans, <laughs> <laughs> and they were so big. <laughs> Look like a skater boy. No, they like they were so big that like he couldn't wear them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's the thing though. I think a lot of women are bigger than their partners. 
Yeah. Well, yeah. especially in like the pants region. Yeah, for sure. I don't think I've been smaller. Or goddesses. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of goddesses out there yeah. <laughs> that are bigger than their gods. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of little gods out there. <laughs> yeah. Being with their big goddesses. Well, I I dated someone whose boxers fit me perfect. Well, he wore he wore um briefs. Yeah. Briefs are and more they forgiving. fit me perfectly, so I would wear them all the time. Yeah. Like if I slept over at his apartment, I would like put on a pair of his briefs and go out and do my business mm -hmm. because they were like panties. Okay. Okay. Also, yes. I'd rather see you in woman's panties than see you in regular briefs. Agreed. Here's the thing. Cause my I can't make fun of you for wearing briefs cause it's just what you wear. Yeah. But if you're like putting on my panties as a joke, we can laugh about it. Also, and I still get to see your cute little butt when they're walking <laughs> around in briefs and they're like tight and they're bopping around yeah, and yeah. you're like, look at you bopping around yeah. in your tight little outfit. You guys are talking about, Men, the yes. way that men usually talk about women. Yeah, this uh, yeah. is this bopping is called, around in their cute little. They <laughs> do. This is called feminism, Mike. <laughs> they're always bopping around. They're always bopping around with their little butts. Yes, they're bopping around with their little butts. They're like, "Do you want coffee?" Little butts, and I mean, you're like, <laughs> "You gotta get." You a, guys have little tight asses. You have tight little butts. They're we don't so all muscular. have little tight asses. Yes, I'm telling you, you do. When they, d yeah, uh, <laughs> some of some. Even if you have a big ass, like a big bubbly ass, it's still a little tight ass. It's tight. It's compact. Yeah. You know those toads on Instagram that have the yeah. butts that are like concaved in? That's a bo that's a boy butt. That's a boy butt. Yeah. And they're and it's like they're up, they're wearing the briefs, they're looking for things around the apartment. Oh, I love when they have to go on a little scavenger hunt and they're yeah, on these. And they're it's so like, cute. It's so cute. And you're like, get out of here. Yeah. You're so cute. Now let me And that soft dick. Yes. Yeah. A cute little soft dick and a pair of girls' panties. Bouncing you're around. telling me you're not into that? I am into that. Now here's the thing. You like not sexually. I like I it find it adorable. I like it sexually. I know you do. So that's the difference. You want to fuck a guy in a dress. Of course I do. Yeah. Yeah, you're all like, oh, you're a homophobe. I'm the opposite. No. That sounds like I'm okay. really trying to push but it. But I feel like you said you were a homophobe. Yeah, <laughs> nobody yeah. even we're, thought of that. Thank what? you, Mike. I'm thank talking, you. I'm talking like societal. You homophobia. actually said I was a homophobe. Yeah, that, yeah, which is like take you not down. what's going on here at all. I'm saying it's hard to have this conversation without acknowledging societal homophobia. That's what I was saying. I'm like, having a pretty easy time doing it. Well, I, <laughs> all right. I'm well, just fuck me. I'm just kidding. But I'm I, a half gay. You know I think, this. Yeah, so is everybody. Yeah. But except Mike, apparently. Yeah, but. Mike's the fully straight man who wears makeup. I feel like Mike Allegedly. wears makeup. I know. I feel like I Mike's, don't wear makeup. I feel like Mike gets eyelash extensions. <laughs> I was just born like this. I don't know what you want from me. He's Big cock and long Gaga. eyelashes. Big cock and long eyelashes. <laughs> God damn it. How are you single? I know. It's crazy. There's I ask myself the same thing. Every night often. when you do your skincare routine. That's right. You know, they always Every leave. night as you I do have a skincare routine. That's right. That's right. That's right. Do you gua sha? Do I what? Do you gua sha? What is gua sha? It's like a stone that you rub on your jawline to make it sharper. No, but I would I would get I would hop on we that. Should get yeah. Now that I know sha. about it. Yeah. We should do a TikTok <laughs> of Mike's get ready with me. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. I actually do have like a routine. Oh, of you course. Know? Of course we you know you do. do. <laughs> You're the prettiest girl in the room right yeah. now. Every single time. It's humiliating. <laughs> no, it's I humiliating. It. Oh my god, Mike, can you come in wearing girls' panties? <laughs> That's what we're really going with. Okay, here's the thing. <laughs> now, because I've had experience with girls' panties, with men and girls' panties, okay? Mm -hmm. But not in like a, in in a joke way, okay? In a joke way or not in a joke way? In a joke way. Yeah, okay. Okay, so I was high. Years back, I was high as shit, and I was standing on the subway platform with someone that I was fucking, and I was in an unsafe space the amount of high that I was. This person... <laughs> Got a <it>, copy. <laughs> This is you were on the verge of psychosis. <laughs> I was on the verge of psychosis. I was on the subway platform, and this person, who is a mean person, was like, "I can't wait to tell you what I have under my pant, like under my jeans right now." Yeah, and, and you thought it was a gun. I, I was gonna say it was a gun. <laughs> <laughs> With this person, it could have been a gun. <laughs> And we hadn't had sex yet, and it was kind of, like, understood that we were going to have sex that night. Yeah. So I thought they were soft launching the I wear women's underwear, and I was too high to, like, react in a cool, way. In a cool like, hey, I don't, whatever. Yeah. And I spent the whole train ride back 
for like an hour in my head being like, am I, how do I feel about, am I a homo? Like, what was in their pants? Just their cock? Fucking SpongeBob Square Pants, SpongeBob Square whatever pajama pants no, and i was like on, you Andrea. asshole that's bad you that's, asshole that is objectively worse than women's panties a hundred percent yes i you know what i'm thinking about it right now and if i as long as i was really into the person mm-hmm. if i went home with them and i took their pants off and they were wearing like lace panties mm-hmm. i'd be like hell yeah dude it's very <laughs> cool yeah it's very cool it's like yeah it's like confident it is confident it's like short guys who walk around with really hot girlfriends. Yeah. Yeah. Or rock stars with really hot girlfriends who are like 65 and their yeah. girlfriend's like 30. Yeah. yeah just like put yeah. on your little Rock panties on. and go on a date. I love that for you. Yeah. Okay. Listen. I think it's adorable. We fully explored this topic and we've come out on the other end. Scott, we love it. Scott, wear your panties, girl. Scott. But hold on. Before we move on, do mm-hmm. we, do you guys prefer women's panties, like a, like lace or silk panties on a man as opposed to like... Batman underwear or yes. something yes. like that. A hundred percent. Yeah. Yes. I'd rather, I'd rather fuck somebody wearing women's panties than someone wearing child's panties. Yes. Right. Okay. A hundred percent. I respect the woman's panty guy. I do not respect yeah. the Batman panty guy. The Batman again, panty guy. Again, it's, it's a fine a bit, line. If it's a bit, I could, I could deal with it. Yeah. But it has to be a bit. It can't be like, what? This is what I wear. The Batman panties are the I got a free T-shirt and I wear that as an actual right. shirt. Ugh. I have ban- right. like posters on my wall and I'm a grown up. Like they're right. not framed. Um, yeah, I, and I, I would argue that the women's panties are the opposite of that. It's such a choice. Yeah, it's like a fully like it's like a self realized choice. Yes, it's like this is who I am. Yeah, I'm wearing women's panties. Fucking take it or leave it. Take it or And I'm like, I'm taking it, I'm baby. I'm taking it. Ball them out and put them in my mouth. Yeah, literally. Now, now I'm like, now develop- I'm into it. Now, now I'm it's, now it's hot. Everyone's horny now in yeah. the studio. Yeah, I thought it was like just <laughs> funny, but now it's hot. <laughs> what about a man who cross dresses? How do you feel about that? They have to pull it off. Yes. I don't love it when somebody just throws on a skirt. Yeah. I don't think that that's super attractive because it's usually like unflattering. Yeah. But. If it's a good outfit, mm-hmm. sure, fucking wear, you know, cross dress in public. Like again, a f- if you look cool and good, yeah, yeah. If you look cool and good, fucking wear whatever you want. I agree. If you look like shit, stop. Yeah, you that's the basic just, principle of dressing. Is like, yeah, if you look yeah, like shit, yeah. stop doing it. You can't just go to Goodwill and buy a muumu and think that I'm gonna <laughs> fuck you. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> But if you get like a, you can't goddess cross dress. Yeah. Yeah. But if you get like a cute little dress and you wear it with like your little Doc Martens. Yeah. There has to be the Come the, on, girl. The Doc Martens and, Let's a, have sex. and a slip dress. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's hot. That's hot. Yeah, I like hot. that. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. Or like not even a slip dress for me, like something even a little girlier. Mm. But like I like I like I like like muscly arms and a girly dress. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, uh. What about what if we're putting on makeup? What if a wig is in? Mm. Now are we moving into drag queen territory? Yeah, I'd rather not the wig. You'd rather not the wig. Just because it's more costumey. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm thinking, like, cross-dressing in, like, a self-expression fashion way. Yeah. Not really a costumey way. Yeah. The wig kind of takes it in a direction where it's like, all right theater kid yeah that's what it is it's like dorky yeah it is dorky yeah none of it's about about like gender it's about like having fucking swag it's about being cool like like i'm picturing a hot person in women's panties yeah and like unbuckling like cool jeans yes and revealing like black lace panties with like a red rose in the middle Mm -hmm. and like that's fucking sexy dude that is sexy but if you're wearing like khakis and a sweater from kohl's yeah. And I take your pants off and you're wearing like just like regular like cotton pink underwear from the girl section at Target. That's not sexy. No, no. That's no. like decidedly unsexy. A lot of this just has to do with being hot and we it have to acknowledge this. It just has to do with being this. hot and cool. Yeah. If yeah. You're, I think the conclusion we've come to is if you're hot and cool, you can do anything to me and I'll be into it. <laughs> mm. If you're hot and cool, you can be- behave egregiously and we all know that. Yeah. There's a threshold of hot where people will put up with this it. This is very interesting because if you had asked me point blank, would you like somebody wearing women's panties? I think I would, and I didn't think about it. I think I'd say no. Yeah, but that's if why I, I take, was surprised. If I take by your one answer. second to think about it, yeah, yeah, 
Me too. A bra. Uh, again, it borders on theater kid. Yes. Um, the nails are everywhere. Everyone, every, every person, yeah. every, you know, person. The nails is, I love. Yeah. I would rather, for some reason, I'd rather a bikini top than a bra. Mm. And I think it's because I know the bra's not going to fit. So it's yeah. going to look goofy. You're right. But if you wore like a string bikini and just like tied it tight. Yeah. I could get, I could get into that. Yeah. All the like rocks. But also the bra thing, I think the other reason it bothers me is like I'm the boobs in the relationship. Because mm-hmm. I got not big, the boobs I got in the big nats yeah. and I, it means a lot to me that mm-hmm. I do. <laughs> so like stop, get out of my turf, you know? Yeah. like We if, can both be the ass in the relationship. You can wear lacy panties, but don't be the boobs. I'm the boobs. Yeah. That's, that's fair. That's yeah. fair. I'm the ass of the relationship. Yeah. Yeah. But not the tits. Yeah. And I'm, I'm the boobs. It's hey, we just we just got into it, yeah. man. That really took us down a road. I know it's beautiful. All right, do you have a you got a DM? I have a DM. Yeah. yeah. When you when oh, you my flashlight's on. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh fuck, where to go? Okay, so I guess I had my phone number on my Instagram. What? Mm. I Been don't there. know. You crazy bitch. I didn't mean to. Yeah. And somebody texted me. I have no idea who this person is. On January 8th, they texted me. He texted me. Happy New Year, Lizzie. I pray this message finds you well. (laughs) For what it's worth, I just happened to stumble across your page and instantly found you stunning and absolutely adorable. Literally from head to toe. What? Not to mention, it appears we may share a few commonalities as well. Dot, dot, dot. And then never addresses what he's referring to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With all that being said, my intrigue, my intrigue, interest, and curiosity are peaked. Three exclamation points. I'd love an opportunity to learn even more about you and become better acquainted whenever your schedule is permitting. I look forward to hearing from you and take great care in the interim. Peace and blessings. Prayer hand emoji, cross emoji, dove emoji, rose emoji. Oh, we got an old Christian person in the house. <laughs> no. <laughs> They're young. He's young. Oh. And then on 420, I didn't text back. On 420, he sent me uh, a meme that says, may your kush be louder than anyone's stank ass (laughs) attitude today. (laughs) And then I said, who is this? And he sent me five (laughs) photos of himself. Can I see the photos? Yeah. The inter using the word interim. When you first read this message, I thought this is a 45 year old. This is a 45 year old. Yeah, that's what I thought. You're good. Yeah. Um, Nothing's shown up. And then this one. Oh, with his kids. Yeah. Yikes. Oh, shirtless. Yeah. Oh. And then uh, this <laughs> shirtless. Saturday he texted me. <laughs> this Saturday he texted me just Lizzie. <laughs> and then I blocked him. <laughs> Because yeah. I got scared. That's scary. That's bordering on scary. I was thinking about this person. I don't think that person is that young. No, but they're not that old either. He's I, not that old. Uh, uh, the 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 grammar on that reads like, you know when you're dating an I older person and they say good morning, beautiful or something? Yeah. That's an older guy thing. I think it's just like dorky and religious. Yeah. What is a dorky and religious person doing in your side and of the tracks? And what do they think we have in common? Loving to fuck with yeah. kids too. Yeah. What? Yeah. You just made it sound like I love to fuck with kids. <laughs> to fuck, and this guy has kids. Yeah, too. dads like me. Yeah, I can see that. I have goddess body. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they love my stupid goddess body, and they want to put their third baby in me. <laughs> they do. Yeah, a lot of goddess people wanted. To we talked about their this seat. already. Yeah, but I hate being burdened with the knowledge that someone's dad is a pervert. Yeah, I know. It I really know. sucks. It's awful. It really is hard. Yeah, it's kind of the like that's someone's son thing, but, but it's, the that's someone's father. Yeah, yeah, and like when you work with an older man, and yeah. like they say something like. If you were my, if I was, I mean, when you literally have sex with them and they like do something kinky and fucked up and you're like, oh no. But then in your mind, you go, what are my parents? Right. And and then you, yeah. And then you have to realize that like everyone's parents are whole people, including yours. And then that makes you sad in a bad way. Yeah. Yeah. Did you know, I don't know where it was. It was some like internet thing. It's probably not true, but it was like 
Kinks are hereditary. Kinks are hereditary. No fucking way. Get out of here. I don't know, man. Mm-mm. I don't know. I'm going to. Nah, I don't think so. DM us both with research about if kinks are hereditary or not. Mike, what do you think? Um, Mike, do you have any? Yeah, do you have kinks? I feel, like kinks? You have, I feel like you make love. Yeah. I do. I am a love maker, oh, for sure. Yeah. No offense. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. The closest thing I have to a kink, I guess, is just I, I look for women's like hands, which I've mentioned on Guys We Fucked, and I think oh, we talked about that last week, didn't we? Oh, man. How I was getting... Oh. I, think we did. I was doing... Uh, I was rating people's hands on Instagram because women were sending me pictures of their hands. I was wondering what that was about. Really? I saw that. Yeah. Like, is it... You like dainty hands? No. I like... I I just like... Uh, I have like... I Rate don't our know. hands. Rate our hands. Um, I'm looking at Andrea's right now. Andrea's is good. Andrea's got like a his voice went up. Yeah, no, no. Andrea's is good. I've got a- his hands. Andrea's Andrea's like a like a nine probably. A nine. Wait, no, I, yeah. No, I'm scared. He's gonna give you a three. I know. Well, you should be, Lizzie. <laughs> oh no. Uh, is it because my pinkies are so short? Well, they're not a nine. I'll just say that. Oh, <gasps> sorry, buddy. Mike, that hurt. I'm sorry, sorry, buddy. Is it the longness? This is you love skinny women so much that you're projecting weird yeah. skinny fetish onto even hands. Yeah, I have like. Do you think you have skinny hands, Andrew? Yeah, she does. Yeah, I think I do. Have skin- I wow. just think you have like proportional. Everything is just like they're big. You think my hands aren't proportional? I mean, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just it's like Andrea's. I can't believe I have to do this again. But, yeah, <laughs> but there's like Andrea's uh, nail beds are also very like um, sort of like. Tidy and symmetrical in a way. I that, literally get my nails done. You're you're a hand. Your Nazi. manicure doesn't look bad, Lizzie. It's just more. There's like a natural order to the way this all works. This but. is if we find out Mike is into eugenics. Fuck you, Mike. <laughs> no, you're it's like, just like there's you know. a symmetry that nature prefers. No, it's not even. A, no, it's there's a, a size of a skull. <laughs> I was just like, we're gonna rate our skull shapes next. <laughs> No, it's literally it's I, I and I don't even know if this is this is just my own personal preference, but yeah. I like notice and I notice what like looks good to me. That's, Can I say know. that a man once told me that he realized he had a hand fetish because of my hands? Wow. So you can't fucking hurt me, Mike. Was he homeless? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he was also a guy that I knew personally. <laughs> <laughs> from the shelter? <laughs> no, from an open mic. <laughs> uh, same difference. And then he wouldn't leave me alone. Are you guys uh, ready to hear about fetishes? Do you want to know? Yeah. yeah. Do fetishes have a genetic component? Fetishes tend to be permanent. In a 2007 paper, Scaroli and team proposed that body-related fetishes may be genetic, while object-related fetishes may be more early related to early life events. Mm. A behavioral fetish might reflect an individual's personality. Ew, so your dad's into hands, Mike. Yeah. I know my mom is into hands for sure. Oh, that's what it is. Oh. Yeah. Maybe they come. Maybe they're maternal. But yeah. I don't know. My mom's never like talked about it like a kink. Would yeah. you not but date a girl if she had like slightly busted hands? Um, Would I, you not date a girl if her hands looked like mine? Your hands aren't that bad. <laughs> I, I have dated. I have dated. Uh, I dated a girl who I remember specifically who had bad hands. And I and like it, mm. when she was like, "What do you want to do today?" And then the hand went out, and you're and you're like, like, <laughs> <laughs> it was like, it was like what, what's that that sound from Psycho where it's like, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like every every <laughs> single like like shot in my brain was a view closer <laughs> into her fucked up fingernails. When you fucked her, you would tie her hands behind her back so you didn't have to look at them not because you were into it. <laughs> yeah, it was bad. Oh, that's well, you know. Well, a new thing to be self-conscious about. That's yeah, exciting. Yeah, that feels good. All right. Yeah. Sorry, ladies. <laughs> That's okay. That's fine. I, I was already. You think I spend this much time on my nails because I like the way my hands look? <laughs> yeah. That's fair. That's fair. I know they're fucking stubby. Yeah. That's they're too okay. small. What That's are you going to okay. do? What are you going to do? All right. Well, let's take a break. We'll come back and uh, we'll do a few respectfully segments. How do you feel yeah. about that? Yeah. Yeah. Let's get into it. Yeah. What's up, goddesses? <laughs> What's up, gods and goddesses? Ooh, that's fun. No, I I actually hate it. Why? Because you are a Christian and you want to disrespect our Lord. First of all, I'm Catholic. Mm-hmm. Second of all, oh, I hate that I said that into a microphone. Mm-hmm. My deepest <laughs> secret. Mm-hmm. Second of all, if anyone didn't hear the joke about it, and it sounds like we, it's like it's like, what's up, kings and queens? Yeah, 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 you know? yeah. 
when people have bad podcasts As, and they still name their fans. Specifically white ladies being like, what's up, King? Yeah. Like, get the fuck get out the of fuck here. Out that of my sucks. Face. <laughs> Well, hello, uh, gods, goddesses. Please listen to the previous segment to yeah. know that we are not being fucking dorks. Yeah. Um, we're going to do a little respectfully segment. We got two this week, and they are controversial. I think They're... one's less controversial than the other, but... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. One of them yeah. is, like, kind of mean and bad. Yeah. Let's Shoot. do the other one first. All right. You want an intro? Yeah. Well, it's pretty simple, mm -hmm. but I think that most... Respectfully respectfully mm -hmm. we were gonna make this about women but i think we can make it about people yeah everyone has a friend that needs to break up with their significant other god and just fucking won't mm -hmm. and then it becomes your job to like constantly be like yeah i don't know if you if you're thinking about it i think maybe you should yeah and it's like fucking stop making this everybody else's problem i know nobody's gonna tell you what to do you're an adult take your diaper off and break up with your boyfriend yes a hundred percent there's also like okay and this is where <laughs> i've been really into take your diaper off I lately love <laughs> take your... it's really good be a goddess and take your diaper off <laughs> yeah you're a goddess you'll find another one yeah well that's the thing and i do <laughs> the thing is you probably won't <laughs> that's where i that's where i it's hard yeah because i understand this mentality of like I have someone who's like 80% of what I want and it's a true nightmare out there. And also when you're crazy, which most people I love and respect are crazy, you don't know what percentage of your brain yeah. is like uh, making a big deal out of things that aren't a big deal. I mean, I'm like newly dating someone and every day I come to you and I'm like this, th look at this, look at what happened. And you're like, I think it's fine. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so that's the thing. It's like what percentage of me wants to break up with this person because I'm afraid of intimacy yeah. and I'm, and I'm crazy. And like, it's good. And that's freaking me yes. out. And some people, but sometimes it's so fucking blatant. Yeah. Like when your friend is like, I don't know, like he yells at me. Yes. <laughs> like all the time. Yes. And you're like, yeah, I don't think this one's on you, babe. <laughs> I think you should break up with him. And that's how I feel. I feel bad for that person who is in an abusive relationship. But I you get two. Like, here's what come I think. To Jesus moments before I'm like, go to a program. Here's what I think. Okay. If we're talking long term relationships. Yeah. I think you get three genuine should i break up with my boyfriends in the course of a year okay in one year you can come to me three times yeah and genuinely ask me if you should break up with your boyfriend now do you tell them the next year mm -hmm. you get two okay. the next year you get one mm. and then you're fucking done yeah that's a great spread you that's had three years to break up with this motherfucker yeah you yeah. are done some people take 10 years. I know, but you can't you can't make it my problem anymore. No, you can't. You can't. And also sometimes I told you three plus two. So I told you six times. <laughs> That's crazy. Don't <laughs> fucking laugh at me. On that. <laughs> also, you got a lot of fucking gall to be laughing right now because Mike Coscarelli well, put me through forty five years. Yeah. And also Well, he was laughing at my I math. Did. But mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, no. Not to, no, I, I actually I agree with the principal. And i yeah. I was actually hearing all of this thinking like Andrea's talking about me. <laughs> I, I wasn't talking about you, but you were one of these people. I do fit, yeah. And Mike had a had a a tough relationship for yeah. years. Yeah. And the problem was I made the mistake and I learned this with you, is I called her a cunt at like number four. Oh which is a big mistake. I've done that too. And then they're back and you're at a party, you go, hey. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hi, it's you. Yeah. 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 I've done the yeah. thing where I'm like talking about like just the thing that they did wrong. Yeah. Like we're just talking about the thing that the person significant other did wrong. And I'm and then I'm like, yeah, and also they dress bad. Yes. And then they get back together and you're like, love that top. <laughs> oh my god, you're so cool. I love being around you. Viciously character assassinated this person. I know. And then you're at a barbecue and you're like I love that you contoured for the barbecue. <laughs> yeah, right, was that was that a me reference? That is a you reference. Yes, <laughs> Mike, you contoured for the that, barbecue. <laughs> no, I know, but I know, I know I exactly. Know. I know exactly the day oh, Andrew is talking about. Is very thick. <laughs> thick. Oh, for a casual oh, Mike, hang. isn't it a July fourth? <laughs> <laughs> Mike, you dated a cake-faced cunt. <laughs> 
Uh, she she did wear a lot of face makeup. Yeah, I don't think she was quite cake faced, but there she did a lot of contouring. Yeah, Andrea's right. <laughs> cake face. She did do a lot of contouring. So funny. <laughs> Mike dated a CFC. Yeah. Um, and uh, but you like you like a clean girl aesthetic. Yeah. Now he does because he knows he loves better. A no makeup makeup. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this, yeah. I love no makeup makeup. This person was favorite. trying to. Rock we know. No makeup makeup, and it was. <laughs> Mike loves no makeup makeup. Small hoops. Yeah. Gold, or big hoops. Gold chain. Nice out, cute little outfit. Yeah. This person was, yeah, this person was a cake face cunt who was mean to my friend, and I don't feel bad. But this is the other thing about this. Yes. If you're going to be honest with me yeah. about how you're being treated, yeah. because you want to know if you should break up with your significant other, and you tell me the fucked up shit they did to you, I'm never going to fucking like them again. And I don't know how and to be I around them. And now I have to speak at your wedding? Yeah. I don't know how to be around this person because I hate them. Because mm -hmm. I hate anyone who does something fucked up to one of my friends. Yeah. And I know, I can't unknow, mm -hmm. and I'm not going to fucking forgive them. Yeah. No. Yeah. I can't because make it's my job as your friend not to forgive them. Like you have to. Yeah. To continue being in this relationship. But the next fucking time you come to me and say you might break up with them, I'm gonna go and remember this. Don't you come to me. Remember this. <laughs> Don't you come. Remember to me. this thing I've been holding you since remember? the first time. I knew about the time he fucking yelled at you. Remember <laughs> when you told me that he slapped the taco out of your hand because you were trying to eat a taco and you were crying and he, he got upset. He slapped your hand at a barbecue. I remember. And you come to me? And you're going to tell me that he snores? <laughs> I've got receipts. I think I like two of my friend's boyfriends historically. I think I've At a liked time or in your in my entire life. life? Yeah. One of my friend's boyfriends who he I know she will marry slapped my ass at her 30th birthday party. And I had yeah. to go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a tough one. That is a tough one. And he goes, he is dry. It's playful. Also, I'll say this. I don't have to like your boyfriend. Yeah. I do have to not hate him. Yes. So if you've made me hate him, that's you've lost thing. your privilege to ask me if you should break up with him. I know. And then there becomes now all women hate themselves in some way, shape or form. Sing it. Of course. Fact. Yes. So, what the hell, Mike? Yeah, You're not all, allowed to all, say that about us. All women, including Mike, hate themselves. So It takes one to know one. Right. right. So like, and I, we work on it. We say the affirmations and we journal and whatever, but it's hard to Speak eradicate it. Well, yeah. Some of us are trying. Some to of grow. us aren't gay. Some of us are in our 30s and we're nice. trying to grow. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Nice. All right. Well, good luck with your mental health, you fucking trash bags. Some of us are trying to grow mm -hmm. and some of us are letting our mom pay for our therapist. <laughs> and that's my prerogative. Oh, I thought you were talking about me. And your prerogative. Yeah, if you break it, you buy it, bitch. <laughs> But here's the thing. When I see a woman usually who won't leave their shitty partner, mm -hmm. I fucking, it sets a trigger off so much. Well, I was that woman. So was I. So was I. And so was every <laughs> woman that we know, right? And it's not even about this person. I'm like, they're talking. I'm like, you weak bitch. Yeah. I, I've been weak. in so many relationships where I forgot that leaving was an option. Yes. You know? Yeah. yeah. So many. I've been in two relationships in my whole life. Both of them I forgot leaving was an option. Shout out to Lizzie's ex-boyfriends. Yeah. Um, so it's just like, it. not only are you making me watch someone be mean to you and now I have to go to functions with them yeah. and pretend I don't hate them, you're also flaring up my own personal issues about like women who won't you know value what? themselves. You know what is the worst part of this? What? When she hits you with the, you just don't know what he's like when we're alone. Oh. I do know what he's like when when we're when you're alone because when he's with me, he's on his best fucking behavior. Yeah, and I still hate him. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> he's still a two. He's still a rancid hang. Yeah, how is he better? I know you don't know what he's like when we're alone. Oh, what is he? He got you a glass of water after you fucking blew him. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh I know. my god, I know. Stand up, stand, grow up. Get pair. off your fucking back and break up with your boyfriend. <laughs> I know. I'm done. I'm so done. It's. I think the rule. I think I like the three, two, one rule. Yeah, and I think you have to really love someone to sustain the three, two, one rule. Also, this is this is your best friend. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I sustained the three, two, one for you, Mike. I I sustained this ten, ten, ten for you. Because yeah, I, I loved you. In, in hindsight, I I I got a lot of second chances there uh, but I, in I a relationship even... that was I, I should have been out of years before I was. You know. But also the thing is, if you break the three, two, one rule, it's not something where I'm like now you and I are no longer friends. Yeah, it's just it's just something where it's like now I'm no longer like 
doing devil's advocate stuff. Yeah. Well, let me let me counterpoint to this. Yeah. That part of this is also being the person that is in that relationship that is tasked. Yeah. With doing the breaking up because they know that that is where the relationship has to go. At a certain point, the respect that you lose for yourself, because yeah. you're not the only person in my life, Andrea, at that time telling me to get out of that right. relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, the respect that you eventually lose for yourself, uh, it, it carries into all of your interactions with all of your friends. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. I do think at a certain point, I stopped coming to you sure. because I knew I was like, well, if I could just go to Andrea with some of these problems, she's just going to tell me. The same old shit. Yeah, like, that's why Andrea and I have a rule now mm-hmm. that if the person we're dating does something, we have to tell each other. Yeah, because it's like I will, I will to like avoid that feeling. Yeah, I will lie about how I'm being treated. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yes. I'll hide yeah. things. Right. Yeah. And now Andrea and I have a rule that like once a week we sit at a diner mm-hmm. and we're like, <laughs> here's here's what happened. Yes. yes. And. A check-in. Yeah, it is a check-in. And because our brains are all rattled from being fucked up, we can't perceive things correctly sometimes. Sure. So it's either I'm here to perceive it for you in the way that I'm telling you that this is really bad, or I'm here to perceive it in the way to you to tell you that you're being kind of bonkers respectfully. Yes. And that's fair. Uh, Listen, if you were in an abusive relationship for like seven years, by the end of it, I would be dragging my nails down a chalkboard, but yeah. I would still be there. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You have to be there when your friend eventually. Yes. Because the other thing is when you're in, a, in an abusive relationship, you get isolated from your friends. Yes. And this is one of the ways they do it. Yeah. They make you so insufferable that your friends hate you. Yeah. So like you, as a friend, you have to be there when your friend is finally like, I left. You have to be like. Fucking welcome back, yeah, dog. Yeah, yeah. Like, get in here. But you can't. We can't do business meetings after year three. There's no business meetings about strategy. No, no. We're done with. Business we're done. Meetings. Figure it out. Yeah. Take off your diaper. Pull your pants up. <laughs> break up with your boyfriend. Correct. We said we we're gonna get to the third respectfully segment, but we, this one really lit a fire under our fucking ass. We just got into it. We're so into it. Yeah. This is like one of my number one things that I think about in life. Yeah. Is this cycle. I also think you and I are like women that people go to yes because we project <laughs> we project like a strength we don't always have For you know sure. like people think that we're like mean and confident. like cunty and confident yeah so they're like if anyone's gonna tell me to break up with my boyfriend it's lizzie because she doesn't need anyone yes you know and it's like i don't want this job no no and also i have a uh like warm safe place energy once you know me yes and i got a fucking put up baby gates with people yes. because people try to get me and see I'm, like we we deal with this because even though we're like opposites in this way mm-hmm. like you're a warm safe place i'm cold-hearted bitch mm-hmm. and these are the two people you want when yeah. you want to break up with your boyfriend yeah <laughs> we're the opposite sides of the spectrum yeah but both of us are getting fucked by people who should be going to therapy and both of us are saying yes you should leave him <laughs> respectfully. respectfully 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 dump him dump him and I think that's the show. And if for you're th- listening to this, yeah. And in the last year, you've asked your best friend three times if you should break up with your boyfriend. I'll be your best friend. Break up with your boyfriend. Break up with him. It's done. Dump break up with him. him. You know what's gonna happen? By the way, if you don't break up with him, guess what? He's gonna break up with you. And then that loser wins. Yes. Ugh. And you're gonna be a shell who gave him eight years. Get out of here. Eight of your best years. Bitch, you look hot. Yeah. You're a hot bitch. And you won't for long. And you, it was in Bly, but Mike said it. There's a period yeah. of time. Respectfully, get off your knees and break up with your boyfriend. <laughs> it's over. You're done. Respectfully, do it. We love you. Andrea, where can people find you? <laughs> <laughs> find me following Andrea Comedy 69 on Instagram. Follow our pod at what? Respectfully underscore pod. Respectfully underscore pod. And uh, TikTok, I'm Andrea Comedy 69. I post there once every six months. And, uh, yeah. you know, it's fun. Fansly.com slash dogpick69 if you want to see my pussy and ass. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Lizzie Cassidy. And, like, DM me a f- cute photo of you in girls' panties. Yeah. I'll, I'll look at it. We discovered a fetish today. I want to see it. Uh, uh, but make it, like fun don't yeah. make it like sexual make it like cute um and you can listen to my other podcast close calls a comedy podcast about near-death experiences and i feel like that's it that's, that's enough it. well let's give a plug to 
the hand lover himself. Oh my god, this hot bitch. <laughs> this hot bitch, the fucking t- he's got primer, he's the got woman toner. Of the hour. I yes. do have primer and toner. You do Ew. have primer and toner. Ew, dude, that's gross. <laughs> the beautiful Mike Coscarelli, where can they find you and follow you? Uh, you can find me at Mike Coscarelli, obviously at Mike Coscarelli Rules. My podcast is kicking. And if you like sports, my other podcast called Sports Group is kicking. Um, and those are the plugs. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. See ya. Later, goddess. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Dude.